So we invite to speak with us Dr. Larry Rose. Dr. Larry Rose is an orthodontist and um, a patient here at Houston Methodist Hospital. And he works very closely with our next speaker in physical therapy. So Dr. Larry Rose. I'm Larry Rose. I'm uh, 74 and a half years old. Hopefully I'll be 75 in June. I celebrate two birthdays, which I'll get through in a minute. Uh, I don't like to talk about myself. Uh, typically, if I'm doing a presentation uh, to an audience, it's talking about a technique or, or something like that. However, um, I was asked by uh, Allah to uh, talk about myself relative to what cardiac rehab has done for me. And um, I apologize in advance for uh, talking about myself. Uh, these are some slides of my life. Uh, I was a professional race car driver, uh, sponsored by Mobile One, which is much better than being sponsored by orthodontics, uh, the, the middle. It's much easier to spend someone else's money. I was Muhammad Ali's ringside dentist. This is my uh, seconds license in order to be near the ring. In, uh, in New York State, you have to have a license. Uh, that's uh, Muhammad and George Foreman and I at a, uh, at a uh, convention of some sort. Muhammad came to Houston a lot to talk about Parkinson's and raise money. Fabulous guy. Uh, I fish now. That's me catching a fish. Um, some other, this is this lower picture was taken, <clears throat> taken in 2013. Um, most people would never see a, a photograph like that. This was taken at the uh, Humanitarian Award. Um, Muhammad and I started in 1971. Um, I, the last fight that I worked was the Larry Holmes fight. Uh, we kept up our friendship. I was with him until the end. Um, this was, um, there's a picture here that was taken at a press conference. I'm behind Floyd Patterson. That was in 1972 when I had, my hair was longer. Um, this was the uh, ticket that you had to have to go to the service. In order to go to the reception, you had an orange stripe. There, these are just some newsletters that I did for ExxonMobil, so they knew that I was doing what they were paying me for, and they paid, paid me very, very well. Uh, the issue is most of us that are sitting here are probably on our second chance. I titled this The Land of Second Chances. I know in my case, my world changed in um, on March uh, 2nd of 2011. I was at my kitchen sink. Um, I started getting pains in my shoulders and under my neck. Thought I had a food allergy. Turns out that wasn't the case. Uh, I went to um, my... Um, uh, internist and there were some changes and he gave me a couple of aspirin thankfully I went to Houston Methodist and um, I was going to have a bypass I had 95 percent blockage in three arteries and the morning of the surgery March the third I had heart attack number two and uh, I went to the other side and back um, why I came back is, is unknown to me uh, but I celebrate March 3rd as my 2011 as my next birthday. I just turned seven. Um, and I thought maybe it's because uh, my grandson, who's nine years old, wouldn't have been able to handle my passing. Uh, I had a ton of orthodontic patients, had a monstrous practice uh, that I had to finish. And maybe it was because I needed to come and talk to you. Um, exercise was not part of my life. Uh, I was very active. Um, as you could see, I was a pole vaulter. I was a all-state baseball player, et cetera, et cetera, as many of you have certainly been successful in your life. But second time around, my workout was uh, getting up from a wheelchair, going to a regular chair. That took probably three weeks of that. Then I was able to uh, use a walker to go from the outside hallway to get into a chair. That was a big achievement, the fact that I could walk with a walker. And then uh, I was able to graduate to a bike, a special type bike that I use. Uh, I didn't get good fusion. I can't lift. I can't be on a, um, on a treadmill. But really, what I owe my life to are the people at uh, Houston Methodist Cardiac. Um, I go to cardiac rehabilitation three mornings a week. I don't know how many of you do that. You certainly don't have to exercise at the point of exhaustion. You don't have to exercise at the point of, um, of injury. Um, in 2013, April of 2013, I have had a defibrillator placed. 
My ejection fraction is between 29 and 31. Uh, the last time it was checked was in June of 17. It was 34. Uh, that might have been an anomaly. It's going to be checked again. But uh, I feel very, very fortunate to be able to do what I am doing. And as far as the exercise, uh, my, my suggestion would be that you go to a facility that is really a cardiac care facility. Things can happen. Um, you need to have train, trained technicians. You're probably not going to have that at a commercial workout facility. So uh, I would just urge you to, uh, to enjoy your second life. Um, I'm completely different than I was. I, I'm the same body. I have no idea who I came, who, who, who I, who I actually came back with. Um, but I'll tell you that uh, the people at Houston Methodist have done wonders for me, and they can certainly do wonders for you. Uh, one of the realizations, and this came to me after I had my defibrillator, I was really trying to do a robust workout, and you're monitored. And the reality was when Allah came over to me, he said, look, he said, you're not going to get any better. The point of exercise where you are in your life is to slow the decline. So that's exactly what it is that I'm trying to do. I have no idea how many more days, how many more months, how much more time I have. But being able to walk with my grandchildren, being able to stand up here today is an absolute miracle. So cherish your second life.